Hello, and welcome to a video demonstration of AppSheet's new one-click chat apps building feature for Workspace. With AppSheet chat apps, a new chat user interface can easily be added to your existing AppSheet app simply with one click, thus adding a new user interface to the existing desktop and mobile web UIs. With AppSheet chat apps, citizen developers, or really anyone, can now effortlessly create Workspace chat apps with no code at all. Once chat is enabled, AppSheet developers can then customize their chat apps in the chat app settings. For more advanced behaviors, chat actions enable quick creation of slash commands and automated messages. Okay, so let's get started in showing how to chat enable an AppSheet app. The easiest way to get started is to start with a template. So what I'm going to do is I'll create a new app based off of a template. And to keep things simple, I will use the simple inventory template. So I'll click copy, and then I'll just give it a name. Here we go. Okay, so here is our new simple inventory template app that we've copied over. Um, the first step that I'm going to actually have to do before I can chat enable the app is to move it over to deployed state. So essentially deploy the application. Okay, so once the app is deployed, then I can click over on the chat settings here on the left side here. And to get started, all we have to do is click on the create button that will start us down the path of setting up our chat app. And after clicking create, we move on to enable the project. And as you can see, you're accepting the Google Workspace Marketplace Developer Agreement, as well as the Google API's terms of service. All right, so let's click next. And this will actually take a few minutes. So please don't refresh this page. Okay, now we're in the customized settings, so I can go ahead and check a few things. Maybe I want to change the first message. Uh, maybe I want to clean up some of the chat card menu options. So in this case, I have inventory log here, but I notice that I have two views that are not going to render themselves uh, correctly in the chat card menu. So I can just go ahead and remove these and I'll add another view or two. Um, inventory form, I can add another one for they like the items form and there we go. So I've added a couple of new views for the um, chat card. Uh, you'll notice that I have the slash search command. It's already enabled. That just means that if I type in slash search and then a search term, it will search for any matching views or data items. And then finally, let's go ahead and click on new action. That will allow me to set either slash commands or automated messages. So to get started for now, I'm just going to create a simple slash command. And for this slash command, I want it to pull up the inventory log. And I'll just give it a, a slash log uh, name, and I'll say show log. All right. So that's basically it. I'll go ahead and click on Save. And then I basically configure the app, the chat app that is, to be able to run uh, on its own. So at this point, I could actually go to Google Chat and install it in my environment. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'll click on my chat environment. I click on the plus button over here on the chat part of the menu. And I can find the app. So I'll just type in the name of my app. My simple inventory. There it is. And all I have to do is click on chat and that will enable the chat app to uh, add it to my uh, chat environment. Okay. So here we go, I can see the chat card menu, I can see some of the items there. I could type in a slash command, I could say, let's do a search. Maybe I wanna do a search for any items that match the uh, saw uh, record. And there it is, so that works fine. Um, I could also do, let's see, my other one, slash log. Let's go ahead and open up the chat interface and we'll be able to see all of the different log entries and if I wanted to edit any of those or I can even insert I could do that as well. So essentially I have a fully functioning chat interface for my application that I've created before. All right. So the next step I want to do is I want to be able to take this chat app and use it as a way to send messages to an existing chat space. So to do that what I can do is use this chat space that I've set up before and then I can open up here under apps and integrations and then I can add this new chat app to that space. So I'll click on add apps and I look for that. There it is, my simple inventory. I'll go ahead and click add. 
And then once it gets added, you can see the new chat card menu down there. And then now we're going to return back to app sheet and I'm going to configure this a little bit more. So I go back to my customized screen. I click on new action. And this time I want to send a message, a chat message whenever there's a data change. So I click on that and this will create for me a new automation. So in this case, the automation uh, will act against any data changes against the items table. I could set a condition, but I'll leave it uh, blank for now. And then the real thing is this process here where it sends a chat message, where as you can see up here, it has send a chat message. It's still going against the items table. Uh, and I, for the message content, it could either go to the same thread or I can select a chat space, all right? And because I added this chat app to that existing space, I have it here as an option to check. So I click on inventory chat space, and then I can say uh, something simple like um, items table has been updated. And then I can select the, the view for items detail. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then to test it, it's just simply a matter of going in and changing one of the records. So in this case, I'm going to change uh, this saw record and I'm going to change this text to be something like cordless circular saw. And then um, when I click save, I'm going to jump over to my chat window and I'll see a message get pushed out to the chat space. Okay, ready? And there we go. We have our update to the chat space. You can see that I have my custom message that got sent. Uh, you can see the updated description there. Uh, so that basically is it. I was able to chat enable my app with no code. I was able to set it up so that it can push messages out to an existing Google chat space. This concludes our short video demonstration of AppSheet chat apps. And here are some useful links to help you get started. Thanks for watching.